Youth Integrated Development Organization Yido in partnership with Uganda Police are spearheading mindset change and how to safeguard schools against crimes. In the number of schools where we have gone, the, the turn up has declined uh, 70% and uh, the cause are very, very numerous. However, we have discovered that use of drugs has derailed the students' turn up. Some of the silent factors that are beneath these problems are found in poor uh, social infrastructure, whereby the institutions of moral generation have decayed, I would say. Students from Kabarole Hillside St. Leo School Chegobe and Kabuyo Senior Second School gather to listen and learn on how to prevent pet crimes that often take them unaware at school. Important that we have these sessions in schools because they help the learners to be directed, redirected uh, into um, a right angle, such that at the end of the day they are able to score and achieve. A poly to message regional gender focal person says that training aimed at building a free crime society. Crime is there, but it is being glorified by parents and stakeholders, glorification of ignorance, glorification of crime is a big challenge. A problem is there, but people are sugarcoating it. So, and when things fall apart, they say, police, where are you? We Kuzira Joje from the Youth Integrated Development Organization, YIDU, outlined the need to train students in order to transform the society. We would call upon other civil societies that have the same approach to come in to make sure youth and especially our education does not crumble. Since 2005, schools against crime training indeed scaled down the rise of crimes in schools. Mutesa Sir Haruna, UBC News.